I welcome you all with my love and respects. Today I wanted to share some of the experiences I heard very recently from few devotees just yesterday one of our devotee who has done the inner awakening who has completed the inner awakening course she was sharing in the mic swami ji still i feel you are too good to be true you are not real because everything you did to me and to the team everything you did to me and to everyone we feel like we read only in the stories we read only in the stories now everything happening in front of us the transformation the health the miraculous health recoveries the way we transformed our relationships the way we brought completion into ourselves the way the joy and excitement and the rejuvenation and the power to restart our life all this happening we read only in books in front of me when i see it happening to so many people and to everybody i feel still you can't be real you are too good to be true i started laughing please understand even after transformation happens people feel <laughs> it's very difficult for them to grasp the mind cannot grasp what happens when your inner awakening happens see a born blind guy <clears throat> who always walks with a walking stick goes to a doctor and asks if he can be helped doctor says don't worry i'll do a surgery to you you will have your eyes back you will be able to see you can throw the stick and walk without the stick then that blind man he gets surprised and asks i understand you will do a surgery for me i'll be able to see but how can i walk without the stick because from the birth he is using the stick he started thinking that stick is part of his walking he can never be intellectually convinced what all possibilities will open once he gets his eyes same way when the inner awakening happens what all possibilities open you can never be told how much ever i tell it will look less too less one thing i wanted to insist i wanted to tell you all just like eyes ears tongue heart kidney intestine your mind is also an organ inner organ your inner space is an organ either you can allow it to rot disintegrate became the source for many incompletions diseases failures or inner awakening can happen your mind can wake up to its peak possibilities and not only it will be healthy it can get everything you need in your life your health your wealth your relationships you are feeling fulfillment the emotional stability above all being sure about what you want to do who you are being certain about who you are what do you want to do what you stand for that surety gives you a tremendous grounded feeling i tell you that grounded feeling is the essence of life 
that grounded feeling comes only when you experience inner awakening. Inner awakening makes you feel that very grounded. You know your emotional fulfillment, your spiritual satisfaction, the way you radiate grace in your words, in your thinking, in your feeling, in your life. When the inner awakening happens, you will be embodiment of grace, embodiment of life. How much ever I try to describe or sing poetries about the inner awakening, it will be, it will look either too much before you experience, it will always look too less after you experience. Before you experience it, all my words will look too much. After you experience it, all my words will look too less. Swamiji should have used better, bigger words. to make me understand this whole experience. I know for sure one thing. I am excited to cause inner awakening in every one of you. That is why day in and day out I am doing it. I celebrate. I am excited. I am intensely enjoying causing inner awakening into every one of you. I tell you, job satisfaction is the best thing a man can experience in his life. I tell you, inner awakening brings job satisfaction even to an incarnation who is embodiment of joy and excitement. Even he feels job satisfaction in the inner awakening. I constantly feel the excitement, joy, completion and job satisfaction by constantly go on causing inner awakening. That is why day in and day out, hours together, I sit with people causing inner awakening. Neither I feel tiredness nor feel boredom. It is just more and more and more excitement leading to more and more joy, more and more bliss. Bliss leads to more bliss. More bliss leads to more and more bliss. It becomes eternal bliss. Nityananda. Thank you.